Hey guys, Future Gohan SSJ2 here, and I'm back yet again for week number three, Dragon Ball Super Episode 3 review, and I'm back again with the Blue Flame. Hey, say hi, Blue Flame. What's up, everybody? And uh, this episode, uh, the, uh, in my opinion, this episode was a bit of a lower turn from the first two. Uh, definitely a lot less things got covered, at least I think, than the first two. What did you think about the episode so far, overall? Um, I feel the same way as you. I think that it was more of a retelling of Battle of Gods with like a few extra stuff thrown in between. But uh, yeah, uh, we see like uh, Elder Kai. You know, he's uh, getting worried, and again, like uh, Beerus. You know, he this uh, this is the god of destruction we're talking about. Like, it's not just an ordinary uh, run of the mill. You know, deep Z villain we've seen over the past couple of years. You know, Beerus is like on a whole nother level. Like, he's capable of destroying, like, you know, eight planets in, like, half a day. And that's that was mentioned in the episode. But, yeah, overall, you know, it was, it was, it was a pretty decent episode. I mean, we did see, uh, you know, some more comedic stuff from, uh, you know, Krillin's family. They were stuck in a traffic jam on the way to um, Bulma's, you know, uh, get-together. And we also see, you know, uh, Gohan interacting with Piccolo and showing him an embarrassing photo of him just, like, blinking, you know, just, like, not opening his eyes during the photo. It was, it was pretty funny. But, like, there wasn't a lot of those, like, oh, yeah, and we also see uh, Master Roshi and Oolong just peeping in on the women at the beach, and then Chi-Chi just gets really pissed at him. And so, yeah, I, I thought the episode was decent, but, like, you know, not really a lot of new stuff, just more retelling. Which I'm kind of curious to see what all exactly gets retold with the new series, because clearly we're getting to, we're getting a new uh, uh, area for Bulma's party. It's no longer at her house. It's now uh, it's now on a boat, which I think that's definitely going to be interesting for the fight against Beerus. That's definitely things are definitely going to get destroyed. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I like uh, I, I, I kind of like the retelling that they're doing here. It seems a lot more. Uh, it seems a lot more. I guess better paced, I think, because I guess the movie was a little bit rushed, a little bit. Um, but I think I like the pacing here better, uh, just overall, generally. But yeah, basically, you already got the summary of the episode down. Um, I like, uh, I do like how we're getting a lot more comedic, because uh, we got to see Goku doing more training on King Kai's planet, and uh, we got a lot of fun comedic moments there. A lot of funny comedic moments. Um, and I, I, I do like that. Uh, <laughs> that Roshi is still being shown as being like this hardcore pervert. I was hoping that or not hoping, I was thinking that they might forget about that or or make it have a backseat but I like how he, on episode 3 <laughs> he's back to being a pervert I like that, I think that's funny um, but yeah uh, I, I think it was weird that the episode 3 summarization had Krillin in 18 being stuck as a tra in a traffic jam almost being like a side plot to the episode like taking up majority bit of the episode but it, they were there for like two minutes and they're like oh we're just gonna age the thing and fly away and so i'm like oh okay uh <laughs> wasn't expecting that but okay yeah i don't know if there's any point to that besides you know just filling in some space but I, i'm not sure like it was it was pretty funny to see it though like i'm not gonna lie but um yeah it was yeah. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad that Krillin is getting more screen time, honestly, because I'm a huge Krillin fan. Um, but basically, this episode, like, it really didn't give us much to talk about because other than like, than like Beerus and Whis doing more thinking about Super Saiyan God and and just more setup for Bulma's party, there really nothing else happened in this episode. There wasn't really like a, oh, you you had to watch this episode or else you missed something. Because as long as you've seen Battle of Gods, this episode didn't really show you anything you didn't already know. It basically just was a lot of retelling of the movie. Um, but, yeah, any final thoughts about this episode? Um, it wasn't a bad episode, but it wasn't the greatest episode. I'd give it, like, maybe a, a 6 or 7 out of 10. But uh, overall, it was a, it was a decent episode. Uh, I think the next episode is going to be a lot more interesting with, uh, you know, Emperor Pilaf and the gang. They're coming back. And I'm not sure. Like, it's been a while since I've seen Battle of Gods. Was there any, like, backstory to how they got turned into the kids again or... Yeah, it, well, Battle of Gods, uh, it was just like a, a line that was said. It, just, like, it was just like one line, like about how they, they they did a wish to be younger, and it uh, and it made them too young. Like the wish backfired and made them too young. 
Um, but other than that, it didn't really show it. It was just like one single line about something that happened off screen. So maybe in the next episode or two, we'll we'll get to see what happened, what wish they were trying to make, and where they gathered the Dragon Balls and such. So maybe we'll get to see that, hopefully. But uh, Yeah, we also but, get to see uh, Beerus and uh, Whis uh, getting the Ka- King Kai's plan about to fight Goku, or near to yes, fighting we, him. Yes, which uh, I'm really happy about because uh, from... From what what I saw in the movie, the fight scene was really good. It was really excellently animated. But I'm curious to see how they're going to animate the fight scene in the series. If it's going to be even better, or or how they're going to go about it. So I'm I'm excited for that. But uh, but other than that, I don't think I don't think there was much else to talk about in this episode. So um, what did you guys think about episode three? Did you guys think it's the best episode so far? It was all right. Uh, not as good as the second episode. Uh, what do you guys think down below? Um, but that's about that's about it from us. Uh, catch us next week when we review episode four. Uh, so we'll catch you guys later. See you. Bye.